Almost every period in time has had its crazes, from the rise and fall of the Dutch tulip mania in the 1630s to the screams of beetle mania in the 1960s. While the 1740s had its own craze, rhino mania, and this clock is one of its finest examples, a so-called pendule au rhinoceros, made in Paris around 1750. Just picture the scene, an East India Company ship carrying a living Indian rhinoceros called Clara arrived in the Dutch Republic in 1741. The animal would eventually embark on its very own European tour and arrived at the Ménagerie of the Château de Versailles in 1749. She would spend five months in France, where she was examined by naturalists such as Buffon and painters such as Jean-Baptiste Oudry. Clara's stay caused a true sensation in Paris. During the early 1750s, various types of rhinoceros clocks were made by Parisian clockmakers and sold in the capital by Marchand Mercier. Louis Kahn's animal clocks, such as this one, were made using models of various animals, such as elephants, lions and bulls, but the rhinoceros examples seem to have become the rarest. Whereas a clockmaker would be responsible for the clock, a founder and gilder would be responsible for the base. Albrecht Dürer's early 16th century woodcut of an Indian rhinoceros had long been influential in this respect, but Clara's visit changed all this. This print made during her stay in Mannheim would probably have inspired the design of this particular clock. Its maker, Julien Leroy, is still regarded as the most famous French clockmaker of the 18th century. Because of his many innovations and discoveries within his field, Leroy attracted an impressive number of clients that included King Louis XV, members of the court at Versailles, and many notable foreign individuals. The clock's asymmetrical Rococo design was particularly fashionable in these circles. The rhinoceros is surrounded and overgrown by an abundance of finely chased gilt bronze decoration, backed with scrolling plants and shells. And this dynamic effect only added and still adds to the drama of its exotic centerpiece. This Louis XV Pendulo Rhinoceros has been in the same family for a long period of time and therefore has never been on the market before. <laughs>